Hello everybody, today we're gonna see about a simple scatter plot along with the correlation coefficient, R squared, p-value, and we will draw finally regression line. The following two packages, that means that ggpower and ggplot are mandatory for today's tutorial, so if you haven't this package, I recommend you to install it to your studio. If you already have, you have to call by uh, using library and then write the uh, package name in the parenthesis. That means a ggplot2 and ggpower into our software. So type this and select to our studio. And uh, before that, uh, before going to or before drawing a simple scatter plot, it's better to uh, incorporate our data. I already uh, uh, incorporated my data or imported my da my data into our studio in order to save our time. Here is my data name. The first uh, column is representing the GUI. That means their uh, dependent uh, variable. While the pH or the plant date, which stands uh, the short form is uh, pH, and which stands for planted, it is independent uh, variable. So as all of you know that regression, when, whenever, whenever just you fit regression line, uh, you have to differentiate either the, uh, uh, you have to differentiate the response variable, uh, that means the dependent and the independent one. But in the case of correlation, no need to be uh, bothering classifying uh, the variables. So coming to our issues, so you have to, my data name here is uh, W, is my data name which contain the planted and granule. So X is means uh, independent variable, that means the pH or the planted, and the Y axis is GY, that means the uh, dependent uh, variable, and add the function in order to uh, give the regression line, so you have to use a regression dot line, and you can add uh, further the color. Uh, I prefer here red. And in case if you're interested, you can choose your uh, color uh, preference. So uh, in this tutorial, I select the red color and then the start uh, the correlation x is equal to three and the label of y is equal to the 34. This means the, the p-value, and in case if you are going to do the r squared value and also the correlation coefficient will be displayed in the 34 units of the y-axis. And here the start regression uh, line means the regression line will be drawn at the y which is equal to 32 means at the uh, 32 units of the y-axis the regression equation will be shown. So if you type this you will get correlation uh, and correlation p-value as well as uh, the regression equation. So type this and send it to our studio. Yeah, as you can see here here is R is negative 0.87. That means the relationship between the grain yield and the plant is uh, and negative, and even uh, the relationship is uh, strong. And the p-value is 1.3 10 raised uh, minus 10. That means highly significant. So they are uh, negatively. The sign negative means their association is negative, and it's very strong relationship. And the y which is equal to 37 minus 5.3x. So that means for every unit increase in the plant height, the grain yield will be decreased by 5.3 value. So this in this way you can display the R value. But in case if you are interested to see the adjusted one instead of the R, if you are interested in the adjusted one, you can uh, do by uh, changing this way. And again, you have to use a ggscatter function. And here is our data name is similar to that one, but the difference among the uh, two uh, code is in this one, we are, when it just, you are uh, only to get the R value, but if you are interested, and instead of R, you are, if you are using the R square value, so you have to use the second one. So the second one is here is all same things are uh, similar x that means the uh, uh, dependent variable is planted there is uh, the dependent variable is grain yield 
and you can add the decoration lion even color is equal to blue if you, even you can make red or orange or any other color purple pink and etc and again why the level of y34 means uh, the correlation value at the 34 unit of the y-axis will be shown and again uh, the difference here is uh, axis is level to call it the best so r r means it's r square it, it will show r square value p level means it will show you the uh, p uh, value and again also you can uh, draw the uh, regression equation at the 32 units of the y axis so if you type this you will get r square value instead of r so type this and submit to our studio don't forget w is our data name x axis is the one with independent variable and the y the y which calls the gy means it is the dependent variable so type this and submit to our studio so you will get instead of r you will get the adjusted or the r square value all things are the same except what the r value the previous one is around 0.85 but here is 0 0.75. So R square is uh, it's a very uh, good uh, indicator how uh, your data is fit for regression line. So most of the time, uh, uh, large R square value is very good. That means your data is fit for the regression line. Then again, uh, if you are interested or if you want to make a group of uh, scatter uh, plot uh, for example if you classify in different treatments for example i use here is what is my uh, my second data let's show you what it look like here is a biomass yield here is a green yield here is the leaf lingers here is the ph of the plant head here is my treatment is three different variety the first one is how we the second one is uh, let me show let me show you second one is Malka and the last one or the third one is Oda so I will uh, see their different uh, variety response and I recorded this so if I if I want to compare uh, in the group so you you can use uh, this method work means my second data x axis means the independent variable and y which equals to the green that means the uh, dependent variable and you can differentiate uh, by using trt so that means the treatment so we have uh, three treatments that means how we uh, malka and order so and you have to use here is a palette the jco or g committed and you will also add the regression line and you can compile or you wrap uh, uh, on the base of the treatment into one so by this way you can uh, you can uh, do uh, a group scatter plot to our uh, software so let's just uh, type this and submit to our studio yeah in the how variety here is a planted is an independent variable and here is a granule is a uh, uh, dependent variable and for every unit increase in the plant the green yield increased by 0 0.84 however the r square value is uh, less that means the model uh, is not uh, as I explained by the uh, independent variable and uh, and again when it come to the Malka variety in the Malka variety here is a plant is there is the independent uh, variable and green yield is a dependent variable for every unit increase in the plantate the Malka variety for the green yield increased by 1.1 uh, unit and even the p-value is uh, the r values uh, so this is a correlation that means uh, it is good correlation uh, comparing to the first one is it is very weak correlation and the p-value is highly significant but in the case of how we variety uh, even their correlation is less and their uh, p-value is uh, non-significant so there is no uh, significant uh, association or relationship among the green yield and the plant for how we variety 
And again, in similar fashion for other variety, the plantate and the grain yield. So for every unit increase in the plantate, the grain yield by 0.63 unit, and the correlation is significant and somehow it's a good uh, correlation. So you, you can compile by uh, this way and you will display uh, different comparison using uh, uh, this uh, method. So if you have any question regarding to my tutorial, regard, uh, my tutorial you can address me through my email wakjira uh, tasfahun at, uh, at gmail. Uh, dot com. Thank you for watching. Have a nice time.